welcome again to my YouTube channel. But before we start the part 2 of the RA9173 law lecture, let me correct a portion from part 1. The process of appointment that I discussed previously is partially wrong. Now let me discuss to you the correct process of appointment of a BON member. So per vacant position, it is the PNA who will nominate three of its most qualified members. And this list will be then submitted to the PRC. And it is now the PRC who will recommend two out of the three nominees from the PNA. Lastly, it is the president who will appoint one out of the two recommendees from the PRC. At para mas madali nating matandaan, gamitan na natin ito ng mga pinagbabawal na technique sa nursing review. Now, lakihan natin ang mga second letters. It is the PNA who will nominate three members. And it is the PRC who will recommend two out of those three nominees. Pero may problema tayo sa president. Gawin natin siyang Pangulo. Kasi ang Pangulo ang mag appoint ng isa sa mga members ng BON. And that is the correct process of appointment of a member of the BON. Now, if all the seven positions in the BON are vacant, then the PNA will recommend 21 of its most qualified members. And then the PRC will recommend 14 out of these 21 nominees. And lastly, the President will appoint 7 BONs. This is the part 2 of the RA9173 Law Lecture. Now, if a person is appointed as a member of the BON, considering that they will conduct the National Licensure Examination for Nurses, they are required by the law to immediately resign from any teaching positions. If, for example, the appointee is the dean of a certain college, she must resign. If the appointee is teaching in any BSN program or any review program for the local board exams, then she must resign as well. They are also required to resign from any employment in any government office or any government subsidized agencies. This is to avoid any conflict of interest or to prevent a scenario where appointed officials are taking advantage of their positions. In addition, they should not have any monetary or financial interests. They shall not have any connection, administrative position in any college of nursing or any review program. During their term, the BON cannot set up their own review centers and they cannot publish their own books because obviously they will have an unfair advantage against their competitors. Now, for how long can the members of the BON sit on their position? According to the law, one term is equivalent to three years. And also, according to the law, they can be reappointed in an unlimited number of times. And before assuming their position, they shall take an oath to the President of the Philippines. Now, there are three kinds of appointments. The first one is called a regular appointment. Number two is called ad interim appointment. And the third one is a holdover appointment. First, regular appointment. This happens when a person is appointed to serve as a BON for three years. So if a person is appointed for a period of three years, then obviously that is a regular appointment. Second, ad interim appointment. This happens when one is appointed to serve only for the unexpired period of term of a regular appointee. If a regular appointee vacates his position, the vacancy will be filled for the unexpired term portion only. If, for example, a member of the BON due to health reasons will have to resign from her position, the process of appointment will be done again and the newly appointed BON will have her position via ad interim appointment. This new appointee will just continue the unexpired term of the previous regular appointee. And the third one is holdover appointment. This type of appointment is when the period of term is about to lapse, expire, or end, and the appointee 
is again requested to stay in power until such time that a newly appointed BON will take his place. For example, if a member of the Board of Nursing's term is about to lapse, but the president tells him to stay in power because the PNA cannot find a member that will qualify as a BON member. Then the current BON will just stay on their position until their successors have been qualified and appointed. And those are the three kinds of appointment. Regular appointment is being appointed for one term or for a period of three years. Ad interim appointment is when a newly appointed BON will just continue the unexpired term of a former BON. And the third one is staying at the position even after three years while waiting for a new appointee. That ends part two of this lecture. There will be no post test for this lecture. See you in our next episode. Bye!